the lights. Okay, turning off two lights. complete theater bitch. I miss it. You know, with this channel, I'm not like a musical theater girl channel because that's not really me. I, I am a theater, a theater girl through and through, but I didn't really want my YouTube channel to be like theater centered. I majored in theater. Like my goal was like to be theater. Like when I graduated, I was on such like a strict path. I was working at theaters. I actually had booked a cruise as a lead singer that I wasn't gonna take. I kind of had to just suppress that and be like, okay, you know, let's think of some new goals, let's think of some new dreams because this obviously isn't happening right now. And it was like, right, you know, I had just graduated, I had just moved into the city, I was like, let's do this thing. And then the world was like, no, you're not actually gonna do this. It's just been a weird journey and I found myself not wanting to dance, not wanting to sing, feeling just really upset. I like didn't really wanna do any of it, but Finally, things are opening back up. I'm getting the confidence to go take more dance classes and I'm not as scared of traveling alone. Tonight, I just took a tap class, which I usually take, but usually I have a friend or Jonah go with me and today no one could. And I took the subway there by myself and back and I made it. And that might sound dumb to people who literally commute every single day in the city, but you know, for me who I work at home, I'm so stuck and sedentary. It's so hard for me to one, not be scared of leaving my apartment, and two, be okay with leaving at like 6.15 at night and take the subway home at like nine o'clock. Like, that's a big deal for me. So it's a win in my book. So this is my super theater inspired vlog. We haven't really had one of those. I have a dance class here and there in some of my vlogs, but today I went to a dance class. Tomorrow I'm going to two dance classes. And on Friday, I just bought a ticket for Little Shop of Horrors off Broadway because my friend is making her debut in it. This is gonna be my super theater girl vlog. So if you don't like theater, you can leave, but I suggest you don't because you probably like theater. You just haven't been exposed to it in the right way. Come along with me, everybody. You're gonna see my true form. Hello, everybody. It is Thursday. So I'm going to two more dance classes today. I just worked all day. It's like 5.30, I'm headed out. And today I'm taking a contemporary class and a hip hop class. And today is the real deal because I am going to Steps. It was my favorite place to dance before the pandemic. And I haven't been back since maybe March of 2020. Not maybe, it has been since March of 2020. So I'm a little nervous. I haven't been back to dance in person there and I'm excited, but this contemporary class I've never been to I don't know the teacher, so this is like real. Because my tap class that I took yesterday, I knew the teacher, danced with her in college, so it was more familiar, but this, a little spooky. Then I'm taking a hip hop class, which I did have that teacher in college too, so I know him, we're friends, it's gonna be great. But I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm gonna wear this t-shirt because it's actually kind of hot. I'm gonna bring a sweatshirt too, in case it gets cold, since right now it's literally like winter in the morning, summer in the afternoon, and fall in the evening. So, I'm gonna wear a big t-shirt. I will talk to you guys later. <music> Step up. 
So I just got out of my dance class and I feel revived. That was the best contemporary class that I have ever taken in my life. It felt so good. I used to take the hip hop class all the time before the pandemic. So it was really nice to go back and literally everybody in the class was like the same as the people in 2019 that I took it with. So it was very nice. That contemporary class made me feel amazing. So now it's 945 and we are doing my favorite post dance class activity, going and getting drinks. Don't worry about it. My body is so sore. That contemporary class was the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. It was so good. I was so sad when it ended. And recently in dance classes, I've kind of been looking at the clock or like, I don't know, especially too when I take it in my room, I can't even pay attention. But that class, I was like, I don't even know what time it is. I don't want this class to end. Now I'm very sore because I have not moved like that in so long. I didn't record anything from the contemporary class because I was just like feeling it. But the combination was so good. Anyways, happy Friday. It's like 4.30 right now and I, I'm out of breath. I am about to get ready to go to Little Shop tonight. Little Shop of Horrors. It is off Broadway and my friend is in it. Like this is like the real deal. Like Christian Borel, Jeremy Jordan, big Broadway stars, they are in it. She's an understudy and she is going on today. She went on yesterday for the first time and she's going on today too. So I ran to buy one of the last tickets once I heard she was going on. So I cannot wait. I'm very excited to see her. So I gotta get ready, I gotta pick out an outfit. I'm going to the meatball shop, one of my favorite restaurants in Hell's Kitchen. I love a meatball. And then we're gonna go see the show. So my friend Emily is actually parking her car right now outside. She is coming in from Pennsylvania for the weekend. So once she gets up here, we'll probably have to leave pretty soon after and head downtown to Hell's Kitchen. So let's get ready to go. I'm a theater girl this weekend. Like literal theater girl. I'm loving it. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it is Saturday and um, last night we saw the show. It was incredible. And now I think my theater girl weekend has come to an end because I'm not doing anything theater related today except for hanging out with my pal Emily I met at theater school. We're just gonna walk around. We have nothing to do today. <laughs> Everyone's out of town. We are just having a Alexis and Emily party day. We're moving in together when this lease is <laughs> up. In case, I, in case I haven't said anything, Emily wants a pet and we're not getting a pet. No. So just when you thought that the theater weekend was about to end, today is Sunday, and we randomly got some tickets to the opening night of Songs for a New World at Paper Mill Playhouse. And if you don't know what Paper Mill Playhouse is, it's like a really great theater in New Jersey. A lot of Broadway shows start there, and just like a lot of Broadway actors and great people work there. So it's a big deal. It's an opening night. Caught some tickets for free. I really thought that the theater weekend was going to end Friday, but oh, it did not. So. 
I just got ready. We're about to leave. We're about to go to New Jersey. Luckily, Emily drove in this weekend, so she's able to drive us there, and then we'll have to probably take the train back. I'm wearing this little dress with my heels and a blazer, and for the first time ever, I'm breaking out my Louis Vuitton. This was my grandma's, and I've literally never carried it, so we're breaking it out, going to an opening night. Gonna have a lot of fun. See you there. Oh,